Pat, thanks for joining us, brother. No problem. Yeah, yeah. you are doing 24 hours on this bike. You and your wife, Janet, 24 hours just between the two of you. Uh, this is your third year doing it? Third year. Third year. Why? I know there's two teams from Comcast doing it, but you guys chose to get your own bike this year. Why is it? Why was is this charity that important for you? That's what I usually like to start off with a question to get right, get you right to you, brother. You did 21 years, right? 21 years in the Marine Corps. 22. Forget me. I didn't mean to shave off a year. 22 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, hey, we. I think we've talked about our own PTSD issues and, and working through it. Uh, I think Team Foster. Tell me, you're getting a service dog. What are you looking forward to with that service dog? And that's such a kind of a weird question, but I think for both of us, like we we want we want we want to be able to heal and, and process that. What do you yeah, mean? So much of it is like TBI. You know, you don't notice it. it yeah. Works. And then over time, it's, it's come on where it's, I don't have any short-term memory. Right? I forget things. It's um, some of it's stumbling, right? It's it's part of body doesn't work like it used to. Yeah. The mind takes you to darker places. I'm looking forward to having that kind of the case and companionship I had with him, right? After we retired together, he pseudo became my service dog. Yeah. But his socks were back. So now it's 18 months later. Now it's time to go, go again. Go again. Now heal from that a little bit. And not only get your own service dog, but spend your time, your your energy, your money, your 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 network to get out here and help other veterans do that same thing. It's important. It's important work. We lose way too many to preventable yeah. circumstances, right? There's too many out there that, that, that I see it every day. I'm part of groups where we lost another one. We lost another one. We lost an operator not long ago, yeah. right? So, yeah, we did. Um, you know, it, it's tough. There, there's... There's got to be a way to get to these folks before that happens, yeah. right? And it's outreach, right? You better have good therapists, you better have people willing to talk to them and get them to open up about what uh, what those demons really are. And getting rid of the stick, right? Back when I was a young guy, you didn't go see no professional. You got kicked out for that, right? Yeah. Like, oh, you need to talk to somebody, you're out of here, right? So you didn't talk about it. Now that it's accepted and actually part of the program, right? Go talk to somebody. I remember coming back off of one in 2013 that was nasty. And they had somebody waiting for us to talk to them, right? And that's a total change from what it used to be. Right now it's, it's pushed forward, right? Yeah. Not even just accepted, but the stigma is is mostly gone. We still have some ways to go. There is, there is. But, but it's mostly gone. Right. And one of the things I hope that, that comes out of progress is every veteran, you know, if you hear the word veteran, you shouldn't synonymous with PTSD. Yeah. He's not right. damaged goods, right? Right, right. Or she, right. Right. And so what the, one of the things I like, because my wife is a psychologist, right? Is, is the whole PTSD thing isn't specific to military members and veterans, right? It's EMS. It's it's anybody that experiences something traumatic, a child, yeah. right? See something that happens or something happens to them. They have PTSD, right? Yeah. And it, part of that is, is amplifying that as well. Right on. Hey, thank you for what you're doing out here to support Team yeah. Foster. To help other veterans, brother. I love you, man. There you go. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks, brother.